Hello. This is just a tutorial on how to make an auto updater, or rather how to download a file off the internet. I got a request on how to do this on my YouTube page, so I figured I would do it. Tutorial on it. Um, it's very actually quite simple. It's a little bit more complicated than should be, but I simplified it by making a .gex that does it all for you. So pretty much what you do is you just download a file off the internet. I'm utilizing the 39DLL in this gex file, but you don't really have to do anything with it. So anyway, I will be giving you this uh, gex file. It's called the GM file downloader, and it does everything for you pretty much. You don't have to worry about anything. So you just stick it into your game if you don't know how to install a gex. It's quite easy, and yeah, not hard at all. So I just added it. Now this is the folder where I have the game file. As you can see, there is uh, nothing else in there right now. So now I will hit object, event, create, new code. Here we go. This is where the interesting bit is. So it's quite simple. I've narrowed it down to just one uh, extension, or rather, function. So all you have to do is type in download file. It's right there. And then there are just two variables you need to input. The URL of the file and then the file name of the file that will be placed on the computer after it's downloaded. So I already have a um, link to the gex, actually, the .gex file. So I'm going to put this in the description below, but we're just going to use it for a test right now. So first, you got to put in these... Um, quotations around it because it is a string and this is how GameMaker handles strings so then you stick that in the middle the link to the direct download link to your file and then we have to give the file name so also it has to be in string format so here I'm just gonna copy it you can really name it whatever you want but I'm just gonna name it the exact same thing and by the way, in link format, spaces become percent sign 20. All right, here we go. This will work perfectly. I'll just stick it in the room, like so. Hit play, and it should black screen here while initializing the 39DLL and downloading the file. Waiting. There we go. As you can see over here, file downloaded. That is how I made my auto updater. It is a .gex file I made myself using the 39DLL. And you can have it do whatever you want with it, really. It's just a really handy tool for downloading files. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye for now.